For some people, the Holy Spirit can be a vague or strange topic to talk about or even think about. Who or what is the Holy Spirit? Why is the Holy Spirit so important in our lives as followers of Jesus? What does the Holy Spirit do? Many times, popular opinion in the modern church shapes much of what we know about the Holy Spirit. It is important to note that not all of these popular opinions are correct. In order to make sense of all this, here are a few important things the Bible tells us about the Holy Spirit. Number one, the Holy Spirit is a person, not a force. The Holy Spirit cannot be used to get things done. We use natural forces like electricity to work for us, but the Holy Spirit is a person. He is God, just as the Father and the Son are also God. We should foster intimacy with the Holy Spirit just as we build intimacy with the Father and the Son. We cannot be in control of the Holy Spirit. Rather, He is in control of us. John 16, 7 says this, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away, for if I do not go away, the Helper, being the Holy Spirit, will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. Number two, the Holy Spirit is here to complete the mission of God. Unfortunately, in our experience-driven culture, the Holy Spirit often becomes more equated to worship and mystical experiences than anything else. This misses the point. The Holy Spirit is among us to complete the mission of God, not to enhance our spiritual experiences. John chapter 16, verses 8-11, through 11, Jesus is speaking when he says this, and when he comes, he will convict the world, he talking about the Holy Spirit, concerning sin and righteousness and judgment. Concerning sin, because they do not believe in me. Concerning righteousness, because I go to the Father, and you will see me no longer. Concerning judgment, because the ruler of the world is judged. Number three, the Holy Spirit is holy. We should never elevate the spiritual gifts above character. Holy Spirit demands and fosters holiness in our lives. The word holy is included in his name for a reason. John chapter 16 verses 14 through 15 says, He will glorify me, talking about Jesus, for he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. Therefore, I said that he will take what is mine and declare it to you. In the passage of John chapter 15 verse 18 through chapter 16 verse 15, Jesus describes who the Holy Spirit is and what his role is. Go read the entire passage for yourself. It's an eye-opening passage to experience and even if you have it all the way memorized, it can be a refreshing reminder of who the Holy Spirit is and what his role is. If you're someone who feels little intimacy with the Holy Spirit, make it a priority to spend time in prayer daily where you're asking God to give you the Holy Spirit and lead you according to his ways. Also be opening to, open to listening to his guidance. The Holy Spirit will lead you to the real truth that cannot be compromised and can offer unwavering hope and peace.